Hello, my name is Brian. Welcome to the Win911 video discussing the three license levels, Standard, Interactive, and Advanced. First, how does Win911 work? Win911 has a Direct Connect feature for the Rockwell, Factory Talk Alarm Events, GE iFix, Simplicity, or Wonderware System Platform, InTouch, and InTouch ME. With these SCADAs, you can use a Direct Connect feature to not only deliver the alarms to the end user, but also allow them to remotely acknowledge the alarm. The notification types include our voice, email, a mobile app for your smartphone, or SMS. If you're not using one of these SCADA types, you can use OPC to connect to our software. A quick rundown of what's new in our software. First of all, our software is a browser-based configuration and it's runtime all the time. Now you no longer need to restart if you make any configuration changes. Our scheduling features and allows you to make schedules based on your shifts, holidays, or whatever it might be. We're also using new notification methods in our product. This new product includes VoIP. We now support alarm filters for our software. This is a dynamic means of bringing our alarms over. For example, you can filter on keywords, severity, priority. We also have advanced alarm escalation, and I'll show you some demonstration of how you can use our basic and our advanced tactics. We support our software in nine different localized languages. A quick comparison between the license levels. The standard license level, this is only allowed for one-way notification, meaning you can only receive the alarms, you cannot remotely acknowledge those alarms. I'll start by analyzing what's in common with all three license levels, and then I'll individually talk about the licenses. For all the licenses, regardless of which one you choose, you have unlimited tags. You don't, you're not limited by tag count or have to pay for those. You also have virtualization and localization available on all three license levels. You have the support through all your SCADA shown there. First up, we have our standard license. And in this license, it's a one-way notification, and you're only able to use your SMS or your email for your notification type. Moving on to interactive, now using this license, you can have access to all those notification types, including your SMS, email, voice, and the smartphone app. You can have up to 10 devices for the smartphone app. On the interactive license, you can also remotely acknowledge the alarms, and you can do alarm requests. For example, you could say, give me all alarms in a certain strategy, and it'll come back and tell you what the status of those alarms is. We also support report requests. Report requests are only available on these three SCADAs shown, your iFix, InTouch, or using your OPC to connect. So in a report, you can define key items you want to have in a report. They're predefined items, and it'll give you the status of those items. Moving on to our advanced license, you have all the things available on the interactive, but now you have more smartphone apps. In addition, now you have report pushes available. So with report pushes, you can send a report out to a person rather than having them only ask for the report. And the key differentiator between the three levels is the advanced tactics and strategies. This feature is only available on the advanced license. On the next few slides, I'll compare the basic tactics and strategies to the advanced tactics and strategies. First of all, basic tactics and strategies. This feature is available on any of our licenses of Win911. So a rundown of how our software works, your alarms trigger a strategy and then that triggers a tactic. So your alarm comes in, it's filtered using that dynamic uh, method. So here we're filtering on the word pump. So anything with the word pump will be brought into this basic maintenance strategy. A strategy is a policy. This defines your starting, stopping, and renotifying. This strategy will point to a tactic. This tactic is a basic tactic shown. When this tactic goes off, we will email Frank wait two minutes, email Ryan, wait two minutes, and eventually email Brian. So it's straight down the list, uh, standard configuration. You can also configure a delay before notification and retries. So just to recap, your alarm is filtered and brought in. You use it to point to a strategy. This strategy defines your starting, stopping, renotifying, and that strategy points to a tactic or a call at list of people. Here we're emailing people right down the line. Let's compare that to our advanced tactics and strategies. Now this is only available on the advanced license of our software. The same process applies where the alarms trigger a strategy which triggers a tactic, but now the features in the, in the configuration is different. Now you can do things based on upon a repeating timer, state change, 
and you have more options for those policies of actions you want to put in place. Still, those policies and those strategies will point to that tactic. Now a tactic, instead of having a straight down the list configuration, you have a flowchart type of configuration you can drag and drop. You can do some advanced escalation based on these things based on time of day, labels, severity, um, timers, and call out different groups of people. In this scenario, the alarm comes in and is active. We can make a decision, does this alarm have a tag for WTP storage tank? Yes, go this way. No, go this way. If yes, does it have a certain severity above 750? Yes, call out the WTP operators and the managers. No, wait two minutes and call the operators. So it is a visual flowchart of your escalation path. This slide covers a few more options for your advanced tactics and strategies. I won't cover everything on this slide, so feel free to pause and read the whole slide. But as I mentioned, you have some blocks that you can make decisions on. You can notify certain people, groups, do callouts based on labels, severity, time delays, acknowledgements. So the advantage of using the advanced tactics is you can do these state machine type flowcharts and you have more options for your escalation pass for your people. A final summary of our licenses, this is a one-time purchase and all of our pricing information is available on win911.com. The standard license offers you the ability to receive your alarms only using your SMS or your email. The interactive, you can now receive and remotely acknowledge the alarms if you're using our direct connects using one of these SCADAs shown here. In addition, now you have the access to the mobile app and all your notifiers. Now you can do alarm requests and receive reports, but keep in mind your reports are only available on your iFix, your InTouch, or your OPC. Our highest package is the advanced license and it has everything available on the previous license, except now you can you push your reports out. You also have 25 smartphone apps, and the key differentiator I showed you is the advanced tactics and strategies. Using the advanced tactics and strategies, you can use that colorful flowchart to make decisions based on labels, times of day, calling certain people. Thank you for watching the license comparison video for standard interactive advanced.